Do not be anxious. That means to worry about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. That's Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, and Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, both out of the New International Version. Good morning to all of you thriving people of God. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church, and we thank God for you being here with us on this TGIF. Come on, say it with me. Thank God I am free because thank God I am forgiven. And thank God it is Friday. Yes, welcome to the Prayer 365 podcast where we are on a mission to transform lives through the lifestyle of prayer. My brothers and sisters, this is a wonderful way for you to start your day holding fast to your commitment to pray. And we believe at Thrive that a church that prays together is a church that will indeed thrive together. And if you happen to hear me call you Thrive Church, it's not because I'm saying that you ought to become a member of our church. I'm saying that anybody that's a part of the the body of a Christ, the body of Christ is considered Thrive Church because God has called us not to just get by, but to thrive. Jesus said, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. An abundant life is a life that thrives. Amen. So let's go ahead and and prepare. I I got a couple of things I want to lift up before we jump into our devotional for this morning and close out this powerful week. Uh, Listen, my brothers and sisters, we have a powerful weekend ahead of us. Tomorrow morning, we're coming together for prayer at the altar. And so I encourage you to join us for prayer at the altar at 8 a.m. And if you have a prayer request, please take a moment and submit your prayer request so that we can pray for you or whomever it is that you would like to lift up in prayer. This time of prayer at the altar is a fervent time of prayer, of intercession, where we lay down our lives on the behalf of others. And we lift up our prayer requests as well as we have a prayer focus, um, which is one that we normally lift up to kick us off for the weekend or starting off that next week. Amen. And which my brothers and sisters, I also want to invite you to join us on Sunday morning for our Sunday worship experience. That's at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. And so that's when we come together and we worship together. And I'm so excited because we're getting ready to start back meeting in person again on July 4th. And we're calling that Freedom Sunday. And so I encourage you, if you're in the Tampa Bay area or perhaps you're saying, well, I want to travel over there. Hey, put it on your calendar. July 4th, that's Freedom Sunday. We're going to come together and we're going to worship together for the first time in person for goodness. It's been over over a year, nearly a year and a half now. And so, hey, we are moving into this net season and I'm so excited and I'm ready to see you. Amen. All right. So we're going to go ahead and dive on into our devotion this week. We've been in a theme titled The Signs of Sonship. Amen. We started out this week, amen, by saying that we make the decision. That was on Sunday. We've decided to be children of God. Sonship is simply talking about the fact that we've been adopted because of what Jesus did on the cross that gave us the power to be adopted when we believe in him, amen, and receive him. And that makes us the give us the ability to become sons and daughters of God. And we made the decision, amen, with that power to become children of God. That means that we've made that decision to walk in it, amen. Now watch this on, we talked about there are signs of sonship. The first one is that when you're a child of God, when you're a son or a daughter of God, there's love in your life. You receive his love and it flows through you. On Tuesday, we lifted up the second sign of sonship, and that is grace. 
Amen. There's a song that we love to sing, me and my wife, that says, where would I be if not for your grace? Yes, God, that's a song by Israel Houghton. Amen. But listen, that grace of God is one that we don't work for. It is the unmerited, unearned favor of God. And so as a son of God or a daughter of God, we operate in grace. Amen. My goodness. Jesus told Apostle Paul, he said, he said, my grace is sufficient for you. It's in your weakness that my strength is made perfect. Amen. Now watch this on Wednesday. We said that the the third sign of sonship is purpose. We were not just simply a mistake or uh, something that just happened to happen. Amen. In this in this world. No, God had intentional um, had an intentional design for us, a purpose for our lives. And we ought to walk in that purpose. And when we walk in that purpose, it creates confidence. Amen. Yes. So yesterday on Thursday, we declared that the fourth sign of sonship is confidence. Now, as we close out this week, my brothers and sisters, this one is I won't say that it's the most important, but it's one that that should not be left off the table. As a child of God, you should experience peace. As a child of God. You ought to experience peace. Absolutely. If you're not experiencing peace, we need to go back and figure out what's going on. And one of the primary indicators or the causes of the of the robbery of our peace is this one thing that they discovered some time ago called stress. Stress. My brothers and sisters may have been diagnosed perhaps maybe 70 years ago, but understand that they understood what stress was even back when Apostle Paul was preparing or was writing a letter to those in Philippi. We got a little technical issue going on over here. When Paul was writing that letter to those in Philippi, he said, listen here, do not be anxious about anything. Paul had an understanding that anxiety or worry would cause what cause you to be robbed of your ability to produce. He knew there was something wrong with that thing. We should not be as children of God, those who are anxious. He said, don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer, supplication or petition and with thanksgiving, present your request to God. But watch this here. That was the command. That was the thing that we ought to do. But then watch what the promise is on the other side of that. And he said, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, it will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That peace, my brothers and sisters, that goes beyond all understanding means that no one can comprehend that type of peace you know when you're when you when you've had an encounter with god and then all of a sudden the next day it seemed like can nobody touch you and it, there's nothing that anybody can do your children can't do nothing your co-workers can't do nothing the boss and all of their craziness can't do nothing no matter who it is they can't do nothing to tap into your peace or to break your peace that is the peace of god that goes beyond all understanding and that is a peace that we should not experience occasionally but a peace that we should walk in consistently that That is the peace of God. And when we are children of God and we walk in the peace of God, understand that we would also become peacemakers or those who carry peace with us. And so Jesus said this. He said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. You have to have a spirit special uh, there's there's a special anointing on you when you can walk into chaos and bring peace into it all it is my brothers and sisters is that you're walking into the peace of God you're a son you're a daughter perhaps you said in your you know in previous times in your life you say well I ain't dealing with that that's just too much I ain't got time for that foolishness no baby you are a child of God my brother you are a child of God you are there to bring peace 
So next time when the family come and they bring something that perhaps you, you, you rather not deal with, remember who you are. You are a child of God. You're a son. You're a daughter. He's given you peace. Now it's your turn to teach people how to walk in that same peace. You're a child of God. Therefore, you walk in peace and you carry peace and you make peace. Absolutely. I want to pray for us this morning, my brothers and sisters, as we close out this week. Amen. We've talked about all week long about walking in the signs of sonship. There are five signs that we've talked about so far. There are others, amen, but we won't necessarily have the time to walk into all of those. But my brothers and sisters, I want to pray that this would not just simply be a one off for us, but that we would walk away from this week empowered to walk as children of God, knowing that we've got to have love. We've got to walk in grace. We've got to walk in purpose and in confidence and in peace. Those are the signs of sonship, my brothers and sisters. So let's pray that we would continue from this point operating as children of God. I want to pray for you. Let's pray. Father, we give you praise and honor today on this TGIF Friday. Father, you have been so good. And Father, we bless your name. Father, you've been you've you've provided for us. Father, you've answered our prayers. Father, you have you have given us strategy. Father, we have walked in peace. Father, we've walked in confidence and purpose and grace and in your love. And God, we thank you for that. Father, we ask you this morning to forgive us of our sin. Father, cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Father, knowing that you're faithful and just to do that very thing because you are a keeper of your promises and lord it is our request today that god that you would help us to experience the peace that goes beyond all understanding right now i pray for my brother who's been burdened by stress that stress has been ravaging all of the resources in his body i pray for my sister who has been burdened down by stress That stress has caused her to feel like her mind is locked up. But Father, we speak that peace over their lives today. Father, hallelujah, we honor your word that says, do not worry about anything. Worry is not our portion. Father, we've been praying, hallelujah, my God. Father, we lift up all of our issues unto you. And Father, we ask you right now to do what your word said that you would do it. Give us that peace that goes beyond all understanding. Father, you said that it would guard our hearts. Father, you said that it would guard our minds and in Christ Jesus. And Lord, we will take that same peace. And Father, we won't just be a hoarder of it. Father, we won't be selfish with it. But Father, we will walk out in this world as peacemakers. Father, when chaos comes into our path, Father, we won't add gasoline to the fire. No, no, no. Father, we're going to we're going to come in with your wisdom, with your love, with your grace and we're going to bring your peace. And Father, we thank you. Because Father, it won't be fancy clothes that people use to identify us as your children father it won't be titles that people use to identify us as your children it won't be father just a facility that allows people to identify us as your children but god is because we walk in your peace this world is looking for that peace and father let the church hallelujah be the ones that facilitate that peace And God, as we close out this prayer, we pray the way that Jesus taught us to pray. And we say, our Father who art in heaven, holy is your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Father, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the hand of the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And all of God's children say, amen. 
God bless you all. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church, and I thank God for you being here with us today on this TGIF Friday. Remember, God did not make you to just get by. He not He did not make you to just barely make it or to struggle or strive, but God created you to thrive. So you do that. You thrive in the power, in the love, in the grace, amen, in the peace, in the confidence of Jesus Christ. Christ. I love you. I look forward to seeing you this weekend. 8 a.m. for prayer at the altar, 11 a.m. on Sunday for our Sunday worship experience. And you know prayers on Saturday. God bless you all. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.